Stuart, band, BMX bandits, instruments played. Well, I went to guitar lessons for five years, but I was so hopeless I just sang. I think the thing around the BMX bandits was, it was always like friends and fellow fans of music all working together and doing it because they all really loved working together and they all enjoyed listening to music together. Lots of people who played in the BMX bands have went on to fame and fortune. Um, Sean Dixon and Jim McCullough went on to form the Soup Dragons. And Norman Blake, he's went on to great success um, with Teenage Fan Club. There's been Joe has been in the band and he's um, now climbing the ladder to, to fame as well with Superstar. And Eugene went on to be New Genius with Gordon. I think very often in towns you get a lot of bands who all seem to fight against each other. They seem to be like rivals and like always trying to put each other down. And there was never that sort of thing. It was always like we all believed in what each other were trying to do because we knew each other really well. And I could understand what it was Eugene or Joe or Norman or Sean were trying to do. Going back to the Bellsill Academy, see my old English teacher, Gordon Lodge. It seemed really strange. The school seems a lot smaller now, and maybe I've just grown up. I don't know. A great many people throughout Scotland are unaware of the regeneration of this area just now. Uh, that are, we've always had personalities as far back as Sir Matt Busby, but musically there has been a great deal moving in the last few years. Um, this school, in fact, produced uh, a little girl called Sheena Orr, who changed her name to East and made a fortune. The more modern concept uh, in the last what, five, six years, I would say, uh, there has been uh, a growth of grassroots, honest people's music in Belsville, I would say. Uh, you've heard of the Soup Dragons, perhaps, and the, obviously the BMX band, it's Day Douglas's own band. Uh, and uh, the Teenage Fan Club, I understand, uh, uh, Norman, of course, being part of that, are in this movement. BMX Bandits, Body Addressers, Teenage Fine Pop, Instruments Played, Guitar, Vocals. BMX Bandits records, Pastels records, uh, you know, um, people from BMX Bandits have played now records, and, um, you know, so it's like, um, it's fairly good, you know, it's sort of handy to know people who play violins and play them well, <laughs> um, you know, whatever will help you out. In the last 10 years, Glasgow bands have tried very hard to be adult and grown up and sophisticated, whereas for the Bells Hill bands, for want of a better term, um, it's not about being childish, but 
about being childlike, although the detractors might say childish, um, and the, they're that bit more gentle. And I think they've stayed truer to the, the things that motivated them to get into the business, which was just a love of music and being fans. For me, that's what marks them out. They're still fans of the music that, that touched them emotionally when they first started to listen to music. Band, the Soup Dragons. Instruments played, voice, guitar, and anything else I can get my hands on. Bell Sills brought the biggest of towns, so I mean, if anybody was into the kind of same kind of music, they're obviously going to eventually meet each other and get together. I used to just stay around the corner from people like Norman and Douglas. We used to run clubs all the time at a place called the Hatton Rig Hotel and get bands from the town. I think the Pastels played Hatton Rig Hotel and the Vaselines played Hatton Rig Hotel and I think everybody played Hatton Rig Hotel. It was just a real dive. It's all about shock value, that's all we were into in the early days. The people like the Pretty Flowers and the Child Molesters. I think that was actually the first band that we actually made. And we played at uh, Cardinal Newman High School, we actually played with the Child Molesters and the whole idea was just to freak people out. and there was no egos. None of us could play anything very well. We basically learned how to play our instruments over the first five years of the band. Superstar, BMX Bandits. Instruments played. Voice, guitar, bass, violin, saxophone and piano. In 1985, I was trying my own little project called the Groove Little Numbers. Then I got involved with the BMX Bandits. And also played um, with the Soup Dragons. The Boy Hairdressers with uh, Norman Blake, Raymond McGinley, who are now in Teenage fan club. The next thing for me was superstar. and superstar. But the one common one is harmony, vocal harmonies. That's what we want to do. Well, that's what we're trying to do, I think. Um, and that's a big part of what superstar, the superstar sound. We hope years to come, people will always say, oh, that was that great harmony group. Superstar, we've got a, a record contract, and I mean that really is what I've really got to concentrate on. But hopefully, I'll always have time for still playing with the BMX bands. First time we met Douglas was one Saturday. We were busking in Buchanan Street in Glasgow. So we were sitting having a wee break and another set of buskers started up and there was this tall skinny blonde guy just doing mad things and we st I stood and watched them for ages and we ended up chatting and that was it. Stay around. 